each subject's assignment to turn each of the wooden pegs a quarter turn to the right, then to start over and turn them again and again and again until the experimenter tells him to stop. It is the most boring and fatiguing task we could devise. Our purpose was to provide each subject with the same dull job so each would have a similar negative experience. In order to obtain the scientific data we need, we use a little subterfuge and say we're studying motor performance. Afterward, they will be told the truth. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let me tell you now what we're actually studying here. It's the effect of preparatory mental set on performance. Half of the subjects are doing the job uh, cold, just as you did. The rest of the subjects are prepared by being told that the experiment will be very interesting and enjoyable. In fact, it's lots of fun. Uh, now I have a somewhat unusual request to make of you. Uh, the next subject is waiting right outside, but the fellow who ordinarily gives the spiel uh, isn't here. Uh, I wonder if you could possibly take his place. As a matter of fact, we figure we'll be needing someone in the future, so I'd like to offer you a $20 retainer and have you remain on call for us. Uh, would that be all right? $20? That'd be fine. We'd like to give you a dollar as a sort of a retainer and have you remain on call with us. Uh, would that be all right with you? Yes, that'll be all right. So we'd like to offer you a retainer of $20. We divide the group. Half will get $20 to tell someone the dull task is interesting. The other half get $1 for the same job. They all agree to tell an obvious lie. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, the next subject is waiting right outside. In reality, the subject meets one of our assistants, trained to get them to publicly commit themselves to this untruth. They gave us some pegs to turn, and, uh, Turned them for a while, and it was a lot of fun. It was sort of interesting, I guess. Really? Well, that's strange, because a friend of mine took the experiment last week. I think it was the same experiment, and uh, he said it was pretty miserable, and that uh, I should do everything I could to uh, get out of it. Well, I think maybe your friend was wrong. Perhaps it was a different experiment, because this was a lot of fun. It, it appeared to me as if, a, for, as if it were a puzzle. We you know, had to turn these knobs, and I tried to figure out what we were doing it for, but I really couldn't figure it out. Perhaps she'll have better luck. Well, what do you have to do exactly? Well, we turn pegs and knobs the same way each time. And that's about what it was, but it was very interesting. Do you try to find Notice, a solution of any kind? The one dollar subject well, yes, sells just as that. hard as the twenty dollar one. But which of them will come to believe what they are saying? Other theories might predict that the man who is paid most would have the highest motivation for enthusing over the dull task and would be most sold on it himself. Cognitive dissonance theory leads to an exactly opposite prediction. The man who is paid $20 knows that the task is dull, but he also knows that he had sufficient justification for saying that it wasn't. How much did you learn from this experiment? Learn? Well, I don't think I learned too much from the experiment. Did you enjoy working on the manual test? Well, it uh, really wasn't too enjoyable. In fact, it was rather boring. How about the man who is paid one dollar? He knows the task is dull, but he has two discrepant thoughts. He also knows that he did not have sufficient justification for saying that it wasn't. For him, there is dissonance. Time after time, we have seen what follows. He reduces the dissonance by changing his opinion about the dullness of the task. Tell me, how much did you learn from this experiment? Well, at first I don't think I was learning it too much, but when I got into it, I think it was quite interesting, and after a while it got better. Did you enjoy working on the manual task? Yes, I enjoyed it. Would you like to participate in such an experiment again? Yes, I think I would like to.